All right, I'm here with Sandur, CEO of Dremio. Uh, Sandur, welcome to The Robert Show. Thank you, Robert. Great to be here. Yes. Long time video listener, but first time I, recorder, I guess. Right oh, wow. Right? Wow, I love it. In terms <laughs> of, uh, you know, and obviously I've been following you since a while, and, you yeah. know, the content you share, and, uh, you know, you've been at places talking a lot about uh, various things. Yes. So that's why I'm here today to chat about... Uh, not only just what's happening at uh, AWS reInvent, uh, yeah. we are at day four and I'm pretty sure you might have met a lot of uh, customers, yeah. prospects, yeah. and yeah, yeah. even the community members. Yeah. Uh, before we dig into that, do yeah. you want to introduce yourself, anything sure. that you would like to s tell more about Dremio, what, what, what are you all up to? Yeah, so Dremio is a data lake house. Uh, yeah. We are both in a sort of self-managed and fully managed model. Yep. And I've got an awesome team that is helping serve some awesome customers, yep. uh, kind of all in the kind of global 2000 space, and, and uh, very excited, we've got some great brand names, all running us as a massive data platform and environment. We, we're we're big, big believers in that. Yeah. We're very SQL oriented, so everything we do is about SQL. Yes. Um, but I've been on, on the gig here now about six months and love it, and it was great, great folks. Awesome. Uh, and just getting into the bit directly where yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure you met a lot of customers, yeah. prospects, and yeah. uh, what are the what are the most uh, interesting challenges that you see that they're talking about, yeah. and not only just that, but uh, how are you planning to solve those? Yeah, great question. I don't know if we've solved every problem. Yes. But we're certainly working towards that. It's our job to get up every day to solve customer problems. Love it, yeah. Uh, I will tell you, it's interesting. You know, I've been in the enterprise software space for almost 25 years. True. And the same data problems that existed almost 20, 25 years ago still exist today. Yeah. The vendors have changed, the technology have advanced from an on-prem to cloud, more elastic environments, etc. But frankly, data quality is still a problem. Yeah. Data pipelines are still a problem. Yeah. The number of people that can do data pipelines is still a problem. Yeah. The, so those are still common challenges that I hear from customers. Today, even, you know, it's one of the areas where we focus is customers tell us, oh, I want to do, you know, something like, a change to a, to a data source, I got to go through my data engineering team to do that. And the yep. data engineering team like, I don't want more tickets to go do more, more work. <laughs> so true. And so that, that model still existed 20 years ago and still exists today. Yeah, exactly. And so what we're trying to change in the industry and what we see as a common problem are folks saying, hey, I'd love to take that and it's really self-serving. So one of the big focuses of, of Dremio is yes, we're a data lake house, both on you know, cloud providers as well as as well as self-managed. Yeah. But our model is to make it much more self-service. We call this concept called like shift left. Yeah. That's where we're focused is to say, hey, you know, you used to only do Tableau or Power BI or some other you know visualization solution, but now with what we call kind of virtual data sets and reflections in our capabilities, you can now shift left in your data pipeline. Mm -hmm. And now the work of the data engineer dramatically drops. That's a really our value proposition that's over here for customers. Okay, love that's it. awesome. And I uh, love the approach that Dremio has. Yeah. Uh, also, I, I'm, this is my favorite question for all the leaders out yeah, there yeah, in yeah. terms of, because we just, uh, you know, uh, like 2024 is yeah. just here. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to share any data, AI predictions that you Not might really. have? Uh, I know, uh, you know, there might be many, yeah. but do you want, do you have some focus that you kind of feel would really do well in 2024? Yeah, you know, I tend to be pretty practical, having yeah. been in the yeah. business for so long. I think we're still in a bit of a hype cycle around this stuff, for sure. Yeah. That's okay, that's how you sort of evolve exactly. to the, what is it, the, the plateau of productivity or something? True. Right term? Uh, but, uh, what I would say there is, I do think things around Gen AI have been very compelling. You know, a year ago we didn't talk about it very much. Exactly. Uh, and uh, and now we do, which is great. So I have maybe two predictions. One is, I guarantee you, a year from now, the number of things we're going to do are going to be vastly different than what we're doing today. Wow. We have lots of models. I'm sure it will change a year from now dramatically. Right. One, it will become more popular than another, and I think that will evolve. Number yeah. One. So I think, yeah. I think changes is probably even more accelerated on the Gen AI. Side. Yeah. Second, I think our big prediction and one we're investing in is that we do believe that Gen AI will be the natural way to really do, it'll be the future of user interfaces. Yeah, that exactly. That really is the fundamental model. And so I think all applications, including ours, will embed Gen AI as a way to drive user interaction. Yeah. And that then drives user productivity across both any and all applications. Yeah. That's fundamental. I think all that stuff will be pretty True. critical. Yeah. And I think really every company that I spoke to speak to at reInvent, yeah. even even organizations that are running large data platforms, large you know uh, companies, they're using Gen AI embedded in their interface. They can do semantic searching. Right. We're enabling in our product as well. Yeah. So now discovery becomes easier. Some of those old data problems, mm -hmm. discovery becomes easier. Creating pipelines becomes easier. 
Right. I think it is the new interface. That, yeah. That's where I think it will happen with Gen AI. No, I love it. And uh, in terms of, I'm pretty sure we are in the most interesting times, like in yeah, the world yeah. of Gen AI. Yeah. And uh, uh, I can't wait to see, you know, I'll, I'll definitely look forward to chatting with you in yeah. at AWS 2024. That's right. And uh, we'll actually compare notes uh, yeah, about, awesome. you, yeah. you know, about how it all did. Uh, but uh, this was great, uh, Sindor. It is such a pleasure to chat with you today. Same. Same. And uh, definitely looking forward to you know the great things that Premier is doing in 2024. Awesome. My commitment is we'll be doing a lot more on the GNAI side, certainly yes. on UX. We'll talk more about that next time. Awesome. Thank awesome. you very Thanks much, Sindur. It's you. such a pleasure to chat with you today. Alrighty, take care. Awesome.